I loved to color as a small child, you know, I would uh, get rewarded with crayons and paint supplies and whatnot. And then I guess in middle school and early uh, high school, my friends would pay me to finish their assignments in art class that they couldn't finish. So I learned early that you could actually make a living and make some money out of, you know, holding crayons and getting stuff done on paper. A lot of it was uh, just memories of uh, with my family being out fishing for catfish or whatnot as a kid. You know, you're, it's kind of ingrained with you, those beautiful uh, warm sunsets over the water and whatnot and the sounds and the lilies and everything else that's uh, occupying the water. Experimenting with taking um, something very old and bringing it into the, you know, into the modern, which is what I kind of feel is what I'm still doing. I'm taking, uh, you know, elements of nature, different animals and species, and kind of modernizing them with my own technique and whatnot. A lot of times I'll find uh, photographs that really just, they just grab you, like that's stunning. And uh, nature has this funny way, it's got its own imagination. That, uh, like, how is that real? And so I try to do my best to either capture that or, you know, find a good base and then elaborate on it and change it and, uh, you know, make it more interesting or, or whatever you come up with in your own mind. So I mostly paint with translucent colors that overlap. You can go from a deep violet to a blue and then add different nuances to change the color. By the end of it, you have a completely wonderful color that's made of hundreds of different colors and elements. Um, each piece takes about 30 days, and so I usually try to put on a couple of layers a day. There's usually a drying period of about six, four to six hours in between, and so you get this wonderful, it changes every day right in front of your eyes. So I think that's the most fascinating thing about art is uh, just working with it and getting creative problem solving essentially so you create these interesting things that you hadn't thought about before because you hadn't hit that problem yet or, or what was dissatisfying about it before mostly it's just uh you'll see a piece and then it's it's the strangest thing sometimes it's like looking at a blank piece of paper in the image it's just there I, I don't know how to explain it but you already know what it's supposed to be and then you just kind of work around the elements to get it done and and make it is suitable or you know please yourself with it so to speak. I look back and I've made some major progressions and I hope to make a lot more within the next 10 years and uh, it's just an undying dream you know it's a wonderful uh, painting and doing artwork is a wonderful thing and it's just nice to see you know how far you can stretch your creativity how, how, how much you can you know uh, perfect your craft and uh, push yourself constantly and, and see where, see how far it goes, because it never really stops until you do.